All right, welcome back. We are going to do Entropy Online, which is on my top 10 list of MMORPGs. At least for the amount I played, which isn't enough to really give it a, that much of an assessment. But I love the game. Man, I have played it. Great community in my experience, too. So let's get started. First off, this is, this is a... We need a different resolution, that's for sure. There's no room. No room for anything. Where is this system? Non-PVP. It's one of those games that seems to have everything going on. Main menu. Options. Graphics. Yeah, better. Is that uh? Is that it? Can't do full screen. There, that's uh, better. Okay, rookie system main. Okay, let's, where's my player? <laughs> Graphics advanced. Oh, I need to, I need to know the key mapping. Okay, which one does the uh, move down? Which one controls like the, uh, the view? That's what I need. V. There we go. We got the camera. One of these toggles run. Retrieve it back. Where do I need to go for that? Apparently the mission is this way. button does uh, gets ready for attack it's been so long since I've played this it hasn't been that long but I've played enough other games for I figure what it is well how do I get into combat unequip F interact How do I equip the weapon? There we go. There we go. There, now, now we're getting into this game. Come on. Is 
That's actually not what we need. We're gonna head back this way. Can I shoot these guys? There we go, we got it, we got it. What we got here? There we go. What's wrong? This game, does this game look like fun to you? You have big dinosaurs? I did Anarchy Online earlier and found a big thing that looked like a brontosaurus. Yeah, I'm not doing so well. It's time to get out of here. Cut our losses because we're almost dead. Yeah, I died. I died. No, because I wasn't paying attention to my health, and I was fighting giant robots. It's usually why I die is I don't pay attention to my health. Yeah. Hmm? We do? What? What's wrong? Hey, for out where to go? I'm supposed to be doing some mission in here. Yeah, some of these games I go like, I'll go like two or three months without playing. Like I'll play it one or two times and I just don't play it. And when I go back to it, I have all these missions. There's been a couple times where the missions don't even exist, exist in the game anymore. Yeah. Uh oh. Who's shooting these guys? Yeah, look, look. This looks like a game you'd like. Look. Come here. It's, no, you need to come here. That's the way to do it. They can't get up the rock. I'm on a big rock shooting the bad dinosaurs. That's the way you do it. They can't get up here. What? There's whatever you have in the bank. Yeah. Then we get money tomorrow from Bob and Bill. Don't tell me. You just have to go places that people that are poor go to. Like convenience stores, like the village pantries and whatnot, because those places will have it. Little amounts is better than none. Yeah, if there's a crisis, why would people worry about toilet paper? Like, what about... I gotta go for dried peens and dried... 
dried beans, dry like storable food, she and told what? She told me that some she saw pictures of people with whole carts of milk. That milk's gonna spoil. Yeah, it's just wasteful. Like, why would you need? How are you gonna use that much milk? What are you gonna do with it? I know. It's not. It's not that doesn't store that long. It's wasteful. You should be allowed to buy whatever you want to, but. No, you shouldn't. People should be allowed to buy whatever they want to buy. Or two bags, and, so if we were toilet paper salesmen, somebody came and said, hey, we want to buy up all your toilet paper, and then all of our expenses could be paid for the month, could be sold all of our toilet paper. You'd be okay with the government stepping in and saying, no, you can't sell your toilet paper? Would you? If you owned, let's say we sold toilet paper here, and we had a whole house full of toilet paper. And we need, and that's our business. We paid money to get all that here, so we're already in the hole because we had to pay for that, that place it's stored and all that. So I came along and bought it all at full price. They wanted to buy all of it. One shot. They wanted to buy all of it at full price. Would you want the government stepping in and saying, oh no, they can't buy all of it. They can only buy two rolls. Would you? I mean, not really, but honey, with the way that things are going, you know that the government is doing that because they know that it's going to sell. Because... No, I'm convinced the government's using this catastrophe as an opportunity to test a bunch of programs and policies they have in place more than anything. What do you mean? And can, toilet paper has nothing to do with like a crisis situation, and you could wipe you could wipe with anything. You need water. Yeah, yeah wa water source is the priority. You need water, and then you need food. Food that will last. Three plus three to six months if it's going to be a crisis. Yeah, people are buying all the water in. Well, somebody just went, ooh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Yeah, they're no, they're buying like milk and toilet paper and meat. What, what, are, you, what are you going to do? It's stupid. Oh, I got a Running Man award. I've ran ten kilometers. Just buy, make a. You can make a water filter. If we've really, really, really had to like get water from a source, you can make a water filter out of just. Sand and charcoal and a few other things and iodine. Yeah. yeah, and you run it. You make it like a filter that mimics like at nature with like you know charcoal and sand and rocks and everything. You run the water through that and that ca captures all the stuff that's like garbage, like the big yeah. stuff. Then the iodine will kill a lot of the other stuff and a certain percentage of bleach. You can... Oh, somebody that wants to survive that's not an idiot. What are you gonna do with toilet paper? His machine. Oh. What are these people doing? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be going someplace, turning a quest. Oh, all right, let's actually try to go to where we're supposed to be going, and I think we have a quest to turn in or do or something. Something about a bag. We have a bag. We need to. Need these barracuds. We need to retrieve a bag. Oh, we did retrieve a bag. Locate the missing boat. It, where does it bring us here? Is this it? Oh, this is. Oh, I see. This is where the barracuds are, I'm assuming. Is it? No, that's not it. Why bring me here?
go and loot him. There's already people out here though, so we need to find something else. Did you look at this game at all? Do you want to play it? Does it look like fun? Well, I won't be playing it later. Barracuds. Are you down here? This is running a bit choppy. Graphics uh, off. I hate doing so like. Safe mode, that sounds like it's awful. Okay, we're going to divide this up into two videos. What the? Oh! Oh, wow, this safe mode, it, it literally is safe mode. This is like... Person looks ridiculous. Oh, I can swim. And we'll find what we need out here. Where are these guys? Are they bare?
pray out of range. Is this a is it find the locate the missing boat? I found a boat. Is that the one I need? Is this the missing boat? Well, I found a, a, a boat. VTOL Okay, well, why not? Yeah, let's let's go to the starting. Maybe there's some in the starting area we need. I'm going to divide this video up because I need to use the restroom. So, be right back.